Hello, Capricorn and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at your Awakened Guidance message for January 17th through the 19th. So let's see, guys, what we can see for you. If you find the message is helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome and upload messages daily. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Also, guys, please keep in mind the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something here in the message. I do a drawing here every month for a free personal reading. If you want to get entered into the drawing, comment your astrological sign below. And last but certainly not least, I pull a power thought card at the end of every message to give it that little positive boost, positive affirmation. So Capricorn, let's jump right in. Observer, exchanging gifts. And to be fair. So this talks about observing, right? Taking a step back, watching from a distance. I feel like there's something to be learned here. I feel like there is a give and take, an equal give and take, balance, if you will, exchanging gifts and to be fair, both talk about balance, fairness, but I feel like you maybe standoffish for some reason. Let's see. Let's take a look. I want to say what comes to mind is something happened in the past, but I want to take a look in the cards before I just jump to conclusions, but that's what my intuition is telling me. So let's just jump right in Capricorn and see what we can see for you guys for this weekend. It's going to come in. What gifts are coming in for Capricorn spirit? Whew. Four of Wands and Ten of Swords. So there may have been an ending with somebody who you thought was a soulmate very well could be why you're observing this person may have came back or could be coming back now understanding here capricorn when people talk about soulmate connections sometimes people will assume that that is like their forever partner sometimes it does turn out that way however Sometimes we are in a situation, Capricorn, where we're just meant to learn something from that person. It also can play out where you're not in alignment with that person at that time. And so we have your energy on the bottom of the deck. That being said, when you're not in alignment, this connection won't come together, okay? You'll keep pushing each other away until your energies are in alignment with one another. Your soulmate connection, your twin flame, your forever partner that you're meant to be with forever isn't going to come into union. And that's why the main focus needs to be the healing process because with healing, with healing ourselves brings us closer to being in alignment with our connection. However, we have the, for your side, Capricorn, we have the Four of Wands, Ten of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. There's been an ending here. The Four of Wands is the 1111 card. This is like the spiritual union card, okay? But I feel like there may be an offer, an apology coming back in. For your person's side, we have the Hierophant in reverse, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Cups in reverse. I feel like there's something from their past that happened to them that has them very guarded. 
And I don't see this lifting because the Six of Cups in Reverse talks about stagnation. I do feel like there is a very passionate connection here. I, I feel like there's some imbalance or in the past there was imbalance. That could be why you are a little skeptical. But I feel like something's going to be revealed within this connection. Maybe there was a situation from the past that was causing blockages within this connection. I'm going to fit, clarify the Six of Cups in reverse here. Six of Cups in reverse, Spirit, with the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, so there was an ending to something here. This person may have walked away from somebody else in their past. Maybe somebody from their past was hindering this connection, but I feel like they've decided to walk away from this. Focus on themselves. Focus on their goals, finances, things that they can control, right? I do feel like this reconciliation was meant to happen. It's going to bring in this completion of a cycle. This also could be Capricorn that the completion of the cycle has already happened and it's going to have you feeling very liberated when this comes back together. Um, like you knew. So let's see here. I really get the sense here, Capricorn, that this person has gone through a big shift in their life. They've gone through a big change. They may have even cut some people off. I feel like What they're coming in as is focusing on themselves. So this may, you know, take time to cultivate this relationship, to bring this relationship together into a spiritual union. Um, I feel like they're doing some inner work. They may also be working on like with the seven of pentacles coming out, they could be working on like career goals, finances, tangible things that they can control. Mm -hmm. I do feel like their main focus right now is their goals. Okay. Because they're focused, they're focused on heading towards this King of Pentacles, this very grounded, very stable, very secure energy. The King of Pentacles is also Earth energy, so Capricorn. This could be that they're headed towards you, but they still feel like there's some healing that they they need to do before this can completely come together. So try to have a balanced approach. Try to, you know, be easy with yourself, be easy with this person, and just... Feel like focus on self, focus on the same thing, the things that you can control, yourself, your self healing process, self discovery process. So, Capricorn, the I do want to do an extended reading on this. I'm going to. I'm going to get a couple more cards out here to see, you know, where this is headed, what the outcome is going to look like, um, get a little bit of advice. I'm also going to pull a Soul Truth card. I have a new deck. It's so amazing. I'm loving this Soul Truth. And I'm using it in my extendeds as the kind of closer. So Soul Truth card of self-awareness. That's also going to be in the extended. So if that's something you want to get in on... The link will be below in the description. Now there is two links down there. There's one for the video and there's also one for a subscription. 
you are more than welcome to subscribe to the Vimeo channel for $33. It includes all the videos, okay? You get access to all the videos for free. So go check that out. If you just want just this extended, that, that link is below as well. The power thought card that's coming out for you, Capricorn, is I can release the past and forgive everyone. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free and I am free to move into new glorious experiences. I can release the past and forgive everyone. So Capricorn, thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are amazing. If you want to get in on the extended reading, link will be below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support, liking, subscribing, sharing the content, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.